Alright, so what is going on YouTube? My name is Blurtry and today we're gonna play Brighter Than Dawning Blue. Let's go! So I just saw this game looked really good and I want to check it out, so let's check it out! Look, your highness, the earth seems much bigger now! Indeed. It's been six hours since two women departed from the moon's communication port. The earth they once gazed at uh, from the lunar capital now fills the entire window. I've never been off to the moon before, so I feel a little uneasy. Their luggage is in a single trunk, which contains only the bare necessities. There's only 10 minutes left before their journey on the lunar, lunar terrain transporter came to an end. It's almost time. Y yes! The seatbelt sign comes on in the cabin and the two of them buckle up. I'm getting excited now! I am as well. Really? You seem much more composed than me, your highness. That's not true. Fina glazes out of the window for an instant. I was only a child when I last came here. I can barely remember anything from then. Really? Mia was devouring the view outside the window. That blue area over there is the ocean, isn't it, your highness? And it's all water? That's right. <coughs> oh god, I can't give them good female voices. It's a guy, that's amazing. Mia lets, a, lets out another gasp. Oh god, what? Fifu? I'm starting to get as excited as well. Oh god, I wish I was a bit more qualified voice actor. Ah, I can't see it anymore. We'll have entered the atmosphere when the window opens next time. Did you see that United Nations capital, your highness? Fina shakes her head slightly. I thought you could from over here from over there sorry I guess the round earth really is different from a map Mia looks a little disappointed but still has a big smile on her face Fina observes her restless state with gentle eyes it's alright for now Mia but don't get carried away once we land on earth Ah, ye yeah, yeah, yes Excuse me? Mia, please, continue to serve at my side as always. But... Maybe you should go sightseeing while I'm attending school. Mia looked crestfallen, but Fina's follow-up made her face light up. No, I shall wait! Hand and foot on your highness! Cleaning laundry and cooking. Although I'm worried they won't have the same ingredients as the moon, but I'll work something out. It might be difficult if you start doing those things right away. Our host will have their own way of doing housework, I'm sure. We will have to discuss it. Yes. Hi. Da, 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 da. You know the family you'll be doing the homestay with, your highness? Yes, I do. The owner of the house studied abroad on the moon. Oh, really? That's a relief to hear. Ah, the window is opening again. Mia would have the plastered all over the window if it wasn't for the seatbelt. 
I wish I could go to the moon. Wow! It seems so far yet, so close. Oh, I like this so far. Yitatsaya! I poke her from behind with a pin. You're up next. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm awake. Natsuki tries her best to stay awake, but she does this off sometimes. I'm fine, I'm fine. And next time, Takamisawa, please read from page 86. Eh, ah, right! That was a close call. Um, Mitsuru Gazaki, Central Communications Port City is the, ex the exchange outpost for the Lunar Kingdom, which is presentable but almost completely isolated from. She always ends up focusing her efforts on the guesting lunch during the afternoon, afternoon, class, afternoon classes. And Miyashita Sensei's monotonous lecture gives her the perfect opportunity to take a nap. The United Nations Soul Embassy is currently located in Mitsuderogasa City. It's a warm and uncom it's a warm and comfortable spring day. Even Natsuki, who usually works hard. Studying for her exams often sleeps through this one class. There's no way of predicting how interrestrial relations will de develop from here on. That's enough! Ah, the lunar terrain transporter refers to. Thanks, Tetsuya! No problem. I'll leave it to you if you doze off again. <coughs> there are a total of three ships, all owned by the Moon's royal family. Introduction to the Lunar Studies isn't the, in the exams, so I can't help falling asleep. I don't do that though. That's because you're interested. Well, I guess. Here at Mitsurgasaki's Kateria Academy, we have a lunar related class, which is a rarity in the UN, United Nations, I suppose. Mitsurgasaki Central Communications Port City. This town has literally, literally became, become the doorway to the lunar kingdom. And that's why, with the inhabitants of Earth currently cannot go to Moon at our own discretion. Ah, let's wrap it up here. M Miyashita Sensei first his textbook and the class register under his arm. You guys are third years already, so I won't mind you studying for exams in other classes. However, it's disruptive, so please refrain from doing that. <coughs> Miyashita Sensei exits the, cla exis exits the classroom followed by groans of I would know if I was already asleep and that's impossible. Dot dot dot. Today's class has ended. Let's get going! Sure! We get the, or off our seats. Oh god, it's so hard to read now because it's late at night. <clears throat> I will soon retire these classmates head toward their final club meetings. The students on the cleaning duty to get started. Natsuki and I slip out be between them and head for the school entrance. Oh and you want an award? I'm gonna end this video here. I'm just gonna make this episode short because I'm really tired right now and I might do this like 10 minute episodes. So there will be more parts. I will definitely complete this game and I will yeah keep playing it but I'm just gonna end this here. Like and favorite if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you want to and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.